What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe, if you're new here, and for today's video, I'm going to talk about how to get a career in fashion merchandising slash visual merchandising. So, a few weeks ago, maybe like, actually maybe like a month or two ago, time has been flying, let's be honest. I'll link the video up here somewhere. But a few weeks ago, months ago, whenever it was, I don't know, I posted a video saying that I got a new job as a visual merchandiser, and a lot of people, like I mentioned in the video, aren't too familiar with this position, what it all entails, and some, and the, those of the people that do know what it entails are really curious as to how to like get into that industry, and I get a lot of questions about it. So, I decided to do a video explaining kind of how it all came to be. So, a lot of this is going to be kind of like, well, duh, Chloe, yeah. But I hope that I can give more detail and insight into you know, what I learned. I first got a job in retail back in 2014. 2014 was my first job in of retail. And before then I only worked in the food industry and then for a while I worked in food and retail. And then I decided just to focus more on retail because I've always been really interested in fashion. Even when I was like a really, really little girl, that's when it was embarrassing. And I was like, you know what? It would be really cool to be able to move up into the fashion industry because I've always had an obsession with like New York City and fashion and like Devil Wears Prada and like all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be me, woo! But in all seriousness, I started taking fashion classes at my local community college back in California and I just found it very, very interesting to study the business side of fashion. And I think it's something that's really overlooked and not really taken seriously to a lot of outsiders. People are like, oh, it's fashion, but there's always a lot more that goes into the fashion world or any industry behind the scenes that people don't realize. So once I was working in retail, I got really interested in fashion merchandising because I mean, the customer service part is fun, but after a while you're like, mm, I don't know if I want to make <laughs> a career out of this. But then with fashion merchandising, I was always interested in displays and what it took into making the display so great. And you know, when you think of fashion merchandising, um, like I explained in my other video, if you don't know what it is, it's like, it's the window displays that you see when you're a little kid growing up, like probably back in the day. I don't think window displays are as big of a deal now as they were back in probably like the 50s or 40s or something. Um, but in New York City or big cities like that, there's like extravagant window displays. And even for small stores, you're still in charge of all the displays and what goes into the store, how it looks, what story you're telling and how you tell that story. So. I became very, very interested in that because I just felt like I was more of a creative person and I wanted to pursue that. So I just offered to help out with tasks like that with my job. And given this was when I was like 20, 19, 20, and I was just kind of interested in it. And I was like, hey, if you need any help with any merchandising things, like I'll help you, I'd love to learn about it. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, like, or maybe the managers didn't want to do it or whatever it, whatever it was. So I slowly kind of learned certain elements of fashion merchandising and I thought it was pretty cool. Fast forward to 2016, I moved up here and I moved up to Washington in May and I was able to transfer um, within the same company to a different branch, obviously, because I moved from California to Washington. I continued to pursue merchandising a little bit, but I wasn't able to be given a job title in that specific field. So I was promoted to a lead sales associate, which was nice. Um, and I still like offered any time, I'm like, anytime you want me to do mannequins or merchandising, like I'll do it. So um, I will say that my bosses were pretty generous with that because they knew how much I liked to do it. And I mean, I feel like I'm good at it. I studied it and I really enjoyed doing it and it, I was passionate about it. So I think that's why they let me do as much of it as they could let me or allow me to do. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, with this job, I was up for a promotion and I didn't get it. And I was very upset about it at the time. But now that I look back on it, it was a definite blessing in disguise because there were more opportunities awaiting me. I just didn't know it yet. Obviously no one can see into the future. During this time while I was at this company and I was up here in Washington, I learned of this new fashion school, which I also have a video for that too, which I can link below so you guys can hear all about it, called Parsons Teen Vogue. And it was a, I think there might actually be a different name for it now. I'm not too sure what's going on with that. So I'll have to look into that, but I will leave a link for the video. And if there's a cool link to the school, if it's still the same name or whatever it may be, I'll link it below as well. But I started taking classes in December of 2016 for fashion merchandising and Parsons Teen Vogue was so, so great. So from the date you sign up, you have 
technically 364 days to complete it because you have um, pretty much a year to complete the program and it's at your own pace. There are no due dates, there are nothing like this. This video was not sponsored whatsoever, anything like that. I'm just saying what I loved about it so much and why I decided to go for it because I was only working in retail, all right? I was living out on my own for the first time and you know, when you're in that kind of position, money's kind of everything, you're pinching pennies, you're doing what you can to get by, you know, whatever. Um, eating ramen every night, whatever it is. So I decided, I was like, okay, so they had a pretty decent payment plans. So you could do monthly, yearly, whatever it be. And so I decided to do it. And again, no due dates. It fit any situation that any student could be going through. So whether you're like, studying full-time at school and trying to do this as a side gig or if you're working full-time or if you're a parent like a single parent trying to go back to school the fact that there's just so much liberty taken for these classes was really really awesome so you'd watch videos you'd watch ted talks you'd watch actual people in the fashion industry it was just great i loved how diverse it was and how much you could get from all these different people which i thought was really really cool so i was studying that and then well let's rewind a little bit so Yes, studying for a career, an ideal career that you really want to pursue, obviously this is important, that is important, but another thing that's obviously, well maybe not obviously, but I think something that's also extremely important is networking. The more you network and the more people that you come across that are in the kind of lifestyle or the field that you want to have or go into is ideal, it is necessary. So back when I was at the store still in California, I met the, gosh what was he? the vice president of the Western side, or was it Northwest, Western side. And I met him at the store in California. He was super sweet. You know, I got to talk to him a little bit. It was awesome. Fast forward to 2016 and that summer when I moved up here, I met him again because we had a big summer launch going on. So I was able to network with him again, catch up, see how are you doing? And this is really key because even if you're like, oh, I'm just a sales associate, you never know who you're going to impress, who you're gonna come across, who you're gonna leave an impression with. So I was like, oh my gosh, how's it going? I'm not gonna say any names because obviously, you know, I don't wanna do that. So I was like, oh my gosh, how's it going? And he's like, what are you doing up here now? So it's just, you know, and he talked to my bosses a little bit and, you know, told them how much I was into merchandising and whatnot, given I still didn't get the promotion, but it's fine, we'll move past that. So then, you know, you fast forward and I'm like taking classes and things like that. And to be honest, when I was taking classes to get the certificate in fashion merchandising, I didn't think too much of it. I was like, you know what, I'm just studying more about what I love and I'm going to get a certificate just showing that I've like mastered it. You know what I mean? So I was, I was really proud of myself. I found this self-dedication that I wanted to pursue this and it was completely me. Nobody was telling me to do this. Nobody was pushing me to do this. I just wanted to do it on my own and I felt the perseverance to continue to do it and I was really proud of myself. So I did it and then December of 2017 I graduated and I got my certificate in January I think and I framed it and I still have it or I think that's it. That's it. That's my wait. That's it. That's my certificate. I have it framed. So I was super proud of it and um, I started adding it to my resume and I was unemployed for a little bit in the fall winter 2017 so that was a little bit difficult um, because I finished school but then I was struggling especially during the holidays and when it's a bad winter out it just was not the best time for me it was difficult I'm not gonna lie I know some people have been there so a lot of people can relate and then I got an awesome job as a barista for a little bit, which I have a video about that too. I have a video for everything. I will leave the links to like every single video of mine, all 100 videos, links in bio. <laughs> totally kidding. But I can leave a link to that too, because you never know, maybe you want to watch that. So I was a barista for a little bit and that was super fun. And I met a ton of people through that too. And again, networking is just huge. You never know what it could lead to or how it could help, you know? So even though I worked at a school where primarily it was engineers and you're like, oh, that has nothing to do with fashion merchandising, you never know who people know. I cannot stress that enough. It's just such a big deal. I'm on Indeed every single day, applying left and right to all these different positions because being a barista was fun, but at the end of the day, it barely pays the bills. Just point blank, honestly. So I'm looking around and I'm like, you know what? I was looking for office jobs because I was like, okay, this is gonna have benefits, whatever it might have and it's gonna have job security and things like that. Do I really wanna do it? 
maybe, maybe not. I just want something that's probably going to pay more and have benefits and insurance. So I was doing that and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna look up fashion merchandising. I'm just gonna see what's out there. Visual merchandising, let's see what, what's out there. And I kept applying, applying, applying. Nothing happens overnight. And I can't stress that. There's a lot of things I can't stress enough, but nothing happens overnight. Things do take time. I started pursuing fashion merchandising technically in the fall of 2014. I didn't go to school yet, but I realized I had an interest in it. I went to school for it two years later, graduated a year later, and then, so five years later, I now have a career in it. So it does take time. Looking back on it, it's all flown by. It's insane. But I was applying night and day, night and day, just looking at all these things, you know, uh, not night and day. I was applying every day, looking at all these different positions, anything that I would be remotely interested in. And because I had the piece of paper to prove it, that I took the time to study it, and I really know what I'm talking about or doing, helps a lot also. Employers like to see that on a piece of paper, whether it be a certificate, a degree, whatever it is, that you took the time to study it, to work really hard, to learn everything you could about it and whatnot. So I did have experience in merchandising, even though my position was only a sales associate or lead sales associate, I put that under like my task that I did, that I did a lot of merchandising and then they'll see that I went to school for fashion merchandising. Did I graduate? Yes. Did I get a certificate? Yes. So I was applying all the time. I came across the job I have now and I applied really didn't think anything of it to be completely honest i was just like i i really didn't think anything of it i was like you know what shooting my shot i'm gonna see what happens whatever happens happens right and kalani and i were on the couch we were watching aquaman i had a glass of wine i was literally applying with one hand i was like we'll see what happens next day i don't know what i was doing but next day i get a call saying they wanted to do an interview and i was like what is going on what is this this is Fantastic, I'm so excited. So I told Kalani, naturally, and I was super excited. I told my parents and I was like, okay, but don't get too excited. It's just an interview. It's a phone interview, whatever it is. So I did my phone interview and I waited to hear back and I didn't hear anything for a couple days. So then I called back again and they wanted to schedule an in-person interview. And so I did that. And then um, there's a wasp hitting himself against my window. And I am so happy that the window is closed right now. Good Lord, that is scary. Wait, why are you doing that? You can't come in here. Go away. No, no. Okay, he gave up. <laughs> and then um, two, three interviews after the phone interview, I finally get a call to come back in. So I was like, I was freaking out. And I told Kalani, I was like, I had to have gotten this job, right? And he was like, yeah, like you got it. I don't know why you're questioning it. I was like, cause they wouldn't call me in to tell me that I didn't get it. Like that would be really, really mean. Just tell me on the phone that I didn't get it. And I think it was interesting because something that I learned from this interview and this whole process was I was so passionate about merchandising that I honestly can say this was the most confident I have ever been in any interview because I knew what I was talking about. It wasn't just like, I feel like a job and a career are different. A job is just something you have temporarily. A career is something that you essentially are trying to build. And I was like, I know what I'm talking about. Like I'm really trying to apply for a career and not just like a summer job or a temporary job. Like this is what I really want to do. So I was super confident in it. And so when they called me in, this was the first time just the wording was just so different that I loved it, that they wanted to offer me the job. It wasn't just like, uh, you're hired. They were like, okay, we're offering you this and blah, blah, blah. And so it has just been such a crazy ride just because I feel like I'm just treated with so much more respect because of the confidence, because of the physical hand retail experience and because of the knowledge because I actually went to school for it. Now it's like, I have like a job that I really, really like. I love because it's what I study to do and I'm really passionate about it. And I have like my own phone line and my own little office and desk. And it's something I didn't really think, you know, you have idea. it's not like, oh, I would never dream that this would happen to me because it's like, come on, you reach for the stars, you do whatever, but I just, I think it's awesome that all that hard work paid off, so. I don't know if that was really like how to get a job, but that's like my personal experience. So I think that my main thing was, if you're interested in something, pursue it. Even if like after a few months you don't want to pursue it anymore, fine, you know, what, whatever. But just the fact that, you know, I wanted to take the initiative to learn about it. I gained that actual knowledge and experience by working with it hand on and then studying it and then just being able to be so confident about what I've learned and studied and that I've had both experiences, whether it be school and hands on, helped a lot. And just networking, they're like, oh, I know a person or I know someone, you really just never know. 
So I would really network and go to school and not be afraid to ask questions. And I think that's the thing too, like it, it's hard for me um, with my pride. <laughs> I don't ever really want to ask for help, but when you're trying to build yourself and build a career or build a life or whatever it is, or you're just starting out, you cannot be ashamed or shy or intimidated to ask for help. Everybody has been in that state at one way or another, at one point or another, where they're just starting out too. So it's like, they can give you some advice and whether or not you follow it, everybody has their own different path. But I mean, I think I covered everything. But yeah, that's how I came to be a visual merchandiser. And I think it's really cool. And I'm really excited to share that story with you. And so if you're out there and if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments. I will be happy to help because networking, I got you. You never know. But I'm going to link the videos below to my Parsons Teen Vogue school review. And I don't know if I did any blog posts about that. Gosh, it's been years. But I don't know. And I'll also link the video explaining what a visual merchandiser is in case you don't know. I feel like if you're watching this video, you do know what a visual merchandiser is, but nonetheless, you can check out the links below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to start a career in visual merchandising or fashion merchandising. If you are if you are a visual merchandiser, tell me how you got there in the comments below or whatever you want to tell me. I'm really excited to share this with you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos because I post new videos weekly and I share a bunch of cool stuff to be honest, so you don't want to miss it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.